First Degree Atrioventricular Block, Wikipedia Audio First Degree Atrioventricular Block, or PR Prolongation, is a disease of the electrical conduction system of the heart in which the PR interval is lengthened beyond 0.20 seconds. In first degree AV block, the impulse conducting from atria to ventricles through the atrioventricular node is delayed and travels slower than normal. It has a prevalence in the normal population of 0.65 to 1.1% and the incidence is 0.13 per 1,000 persons. The most common causes of first-degree heart block are an AV nodal disease, enhanced vagal tone, myocarditis, acute myocardial infarction, electrolyte disturbances, and medication. The drugs that most commonly cause first-degree heart block are those that increase the refractory time of the AV node, thereby slowing AV conduction. These include calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, cardiac glycosides, and anything that increases cholinergic activity such as cholinesterase inhibitors. Digitalis is a sodium-slash-potassium ADPase inhibitor and also prolongs AV conduction. Causes In normal individuals, the AV node slows the conduction of electrical impulse through the heart. This is manifest on a surface electrocardiogram as the PR interval. The normal PR interval is from 120 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds in length. This is measured from the initial deflection of the P wave to the beginning of the QRS complex. In first degree heart block, the diseased AV node conducts the electrical activity more slowly. This is seen as a PR interval greater than 200 milliseconds in length on the surface ECG. It is usually an incidental finding on a routine ECG. First-degree heart block does not require any particular investigations except for electrolyte and drug screens, especially if an overdose is suspected. Investigations may also be warranted with a prolonged interval that is greater than 0.2 seconds. The management includes identifying and correcting electrolyte imbalances and withholding any offending medications. This condition does not require admission unless there is an associated myocardial infarction. Even though it usually does not progress to higher forms of heart block, it may require outpatient follow-up and monitoring of the ECG, especially if there is a comorbid bundle branch block. If there is a need for treatment of an unrelated condition, care should be taken not to introduce any medication that may slow AV conduction. If this is not feasible, clinicians should be very cautious when introducing any drug that may slow conduction, and regular monitoring of the ECG is indicated. Isolated first-degree heart block has no direct clinical consequences. There are no symptoms or signs associated with it. It was originally thought of as having a benign prognosis. In the Framingham Heart Study, however, the presence of a prolonged PR interval or first-degree AV block doubled the risk of developing atrial fibrillation, tripled the risk of requiring an artificial pacemaker, and was associated with a small increase in mortality. This risk was proportional to the degree of PR prolongation. A subset of individuals with the triad of first-degree heart block, right bundle branch block, and either left anterior fascicular block or left posterior fascicular block may be at an increased risk of progression to complete heart block. Diagnosis Treatment Prognosis